I believe Airbus is a good example of a traditional company meeting business challenges in a new way. They actually did come to our innovation center in Wichita to experiment hands on our new capabilities and technologies, such as the 3D experience platform, MRAM, and agile manufacturing. As a result of this, they managed to develop a thrust reverser unit in less than 90 days from inception to realization of a half scale model. The point here is that the major OEMs have understood now that innovation is not only for the small players. They do not want to be caught unaware and they need to inject a sense of urgency and innovation in their design offices. Of course, our network of innovation centers across the world is there to help them out. I believe it is vital, it is a vital imperative for aerospace and defense companies to integrate new technologies. Big OEMs are accustomed to that, of course, and they have developed specific outfits, R&T centers, innovation labs, development sprints, and so on. However, I believe that you cannot simply adapt your old processes to embark on a full digital transformation journey. You need to fundamentally look with a hard eye on your culture, your organization, and your processes to change the way you deliver value to your customers. This means that you need to have a holistic view of the company to drive this change, not just do IT projects for quick wins. It also means you need to have a long-term partner who is committed to this success. So is there an optimal way for, for aerospace and defense OEMs and suppliers to move to a fully digital enterprise? Um, and there is not. Um, it really depends where, where the companies come from. Uh, what kind of legacy they have, um, not only on, on tools um, and IT systems, but also on their business processes, um, on their strategy, on what did they do the past 10, 20 years? Yeah? Did they already embrace uh, some technologies to, to move into the digitalization, or do they still live into an, an Excel multiple databases, homegrown applications um, where they are disconnected and um, not really um, on the way to, to a common platform to um, embrace the advantages of digitalization. Um, to give some examples, we have seen uh, large OEMs in North America, they did a big bang on and replaced um, more than 400 uh, tools and application uh, with a single platform. This is um, a huge work to prepare, but you immediately see see the benefits uh, not only from a uh, total cost of ownership on the IT side, but really on the on the continuity of the data. Um, we have we are working with with Boeing at the moment um, on the Second Century program, um, where Boeing used this uh, program or initiative to not only implement an enterprise system across all their domains on defense and space and, and commercial, uh, but also restructuring um, their, their own enterprise, yeah? tearing down silos, uh, resetting up teams, uh, making sure that uh, there is um, a common process uh, between defense and space and commercial so that they can leverage uh, technologies, workforce, which has talked about uh, not only on a single program, but there where workforce is really needed. And then you have, um, uh, especially in, in, in the supply chain, um, where we see a very diverse situation and landscape. You have uh, companies, they embrace digitalization in the past. Uh, they might have an, a new program, a new factory like Letico Air, um, where they are able to implement a digital threat from the beginning to the end. Um, and then you have others where um, where we worry on how do we get them there. Yeah, it's a leap for them. And um, then we take them on a journey, um, and this is part of, um, of what we, uh, we are offering to the market and to our customers, that we are not only providing um, the, the platform and the software capabilities, but we are also providing business processes um, and uh, consultants to, to help them on what is the right step-by-step -step approach to, to get into the right direction. Yeah? Because it's, it's hard to take them out where they are at the moment and 
just switching the switch and they are now in the future. No, that's not how, how it's going to work. Also, and this is a, a fairly new thing for aerospace and defense, um, there are a number of, uh, of startups, ideas like Joby Aviation. Yeah? They have a dream of um, the new markets of, um, of flying cars, um, drones, yeah? um, and they are coming with, uh, with a blank sheet. Yeah? They have no history, they have no legacy. Um, they uh, recruiting the, the smartest engineers um, on the market and uh, they start right off uh, with all digital and for them it's much easier to really get this digital continuity, digital threat end-to-end -end rolled out and, and all the benefits of that. We want to be successful all together and this means to understand uh, what is the situation of, the, of each single customer where do they want to go, where do they need to go to be successful and competitive, and then we work together to, to make it right and make it happen.